What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush HD and welcome to a brand new episode of my FIFA 13 Team of the Week prediction series. Today we're going to be predicting the Team of the Week number 36, which is supposedly coming out at the same time as the Bundesliga Team of the Season or um, I'm not quite sure what they're going to do because last year in FIFA 12 they put the Bundesliga with more like, other teams such as the um, uh, Holland League, the Belgian Pro League and the Austrian Bundesliga. They put them all in one called the Team of the Season for the Northern League. So I'm not sure if they're going to do that in FIFA 13 but I have got a video out for my Team of the Season predictions for um, the Bundesliga. It's got some... Uh, uh, the Vizier players in as well but uh, go and have a look at that if you want to have some suggestions of players that may come out tomorrow and see if you want to go out and buy some packs obviously some of you want to because you want to get those expensive team of the season players but um, today we have the team of the week predictions number 36 so uh, let's get into the substitutes the first player we got a bronze player and this player is called Golanski he plays as a right back in the Polish league and um, he got two goals and a clean sheet for a right back which is pretty pretty decent Moving on to the next player, we got an MLS player, and that is Eddie Johnson. He has already got an inform card, but um, uh, on the weekend he scored two goals. I think he may have gotten an assist. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, two goals, and he got the player of the week. Um, so um, he's got a good chance of getting an inform card, and also maybe it could be up front. I'm not 100% sure on where he played, but if he's up front, he looks a, like a fantastic card. Moving on to the next player, we got this player called Tornstar. He plays in the Eredivisie for um, Unterlecht, I think it is. And he scored two goals for a centre mid um, in their playoffs, which I think may have played an important role in that game. Moving on to the next player, we got a, another striker, and that is Calacelas. Um, not to be confused with the one who plays as a right back, the one in the French League. Um, he scored a hat trick, uh, so he's got a good chance of getting informed. Shame about his pace, it's fairly low, so I don't think he'll go for that much. Um, moving on to the next player, we've got a centre-back, and that is Mertens. Not to be confused with Dries Mertens, the um, PSV player, but uh, Kolegi Mertens plays in the Belgian Pro League. He got a hat-trick for a centre-back um, and a man of the match, I believe, but it was on Thursday, so he may not actually get a card. But he looks like a fairly decent card if he was to get an informed card. 71 pace already. It looks like a fairly decent player. Um, moving on to the final substitute, I believe, guys, and this player is Malky. He played in the Eredivisie as well, and um, he got a hat trick um, in their 6-1 win in the like re relegation playoffs. I think it is. I'm not sure if they do that or a crucial game that try to get them out of relegation. But um, for Roder JC, so he's got a chance of getting an informed card as well. He looks like a fairly decent player. But let's move on to the starting 11. And uh, we're going to quickly name the squad team of the week 36. And guys, come on, guess the uh, formation I'm going to be playing. The 4-3, 4 3 4 one 2 formation. And in goal, we have Mark Schwarzer. And I have no idea how he has not got an inform card or the team of the season most consistent player card yet. Because he's been phenomenal this season for Fulham. But um, he's had another brilliant game. He got clean sheet. And uh, he had amazing game, some amazing saves to get them the 3-0 win. Yes, it was a 3-0 win, but he um, it was a very, very hard clean sheet to get. And he played phenomenal in that game. Moving on to the first centre-back. We have a player who normally plays as a left-back, I think it is. I think it's called Mathieu. Mathieu, I'm not quite sure about the French pronunciation. But um, let me quickly find him here. Um, here, he plays as a left-back normally, but he actually played centre-back in the game. So... He could be a fairly decent card. Uh, look at his stats there. 74 pace, 77 defending and 70 heading. If that goes as a centre-back, he'd be quite a good player. Maybe go for quite cheap as well. But uh, he got one goal, a clean sheet and man of the match. So he's got a good chance of getting a card for Valencia. Moving on to the holding centre-mid or uh, centre-mid? Centre-back, sorry. We have Koscielny, the Arsenal um, play. He's already got an informed card, but uh, this week he got one goal, a clean sheet, and man of the match, and got the needed goal for their Champions League qualification spot. So um, played very, very well, won all the balls in defence, and um, ended up scoring the winning goal. So uh, well played to him. Moving on to the final defender, we have another. We have a left back who actually played left back, and he's called Sequela. He plays for Granada in the Liga BVA, and um, he got one goal, one assist, a clean sheet, and man of the match. So I think he's going to get an informed card. So let's move on to the midfield. And I've got kind of um, players scattered around here. But um, 
for a player in left mid, we got this player here. Let me quickly find him. He's called, um, I think it is Marcelo Estegalabe. Estegalabe. I'm not quite sure he pronounced that. He plays for Sta um, Sam Dolino um, in the Serie A, sorry. And um, he got two assists uh, in their 3-2 win over Juventus, the champions of the Serie A. So a very, very good game for him. And um, I think he was probably like... Uh, the, he, he just missed out on getting the man of the match. I think his goalkeeper got that because he played phenomenal in that game. But um, he got two assists against Juventus and they won, which was a very, very good result for them. And uh, I think he's got a good chance of getting in from card. Two assists, pretty decent. He's done his job in that game as a midfielder, left um, a winger, which should I say. But um, let's move on to the midfield. Like I said, I've got some players kind of scattered around. I haven't actually got a right mid, but the first player is going to be a player in the Liga Portuguesa, Adrian. Plays for Sporting Lisbon or Sporting CP. I'm not quite sure how they pronounce and um, like say their name now, but uh, he got a brace, which is two goals if you didn't know, and a man of the match. In I'm not quite sure there. Um, I think it was four one win. Um, can you comment if I got that right or not? I'm not 100 sure on that, but uh, he's got a chance to get an informed card, and I've actually used him. And he's actually a fairly decent player, so I want to go and pick up his informed card, see what that's like. He could be a very good alternative for Yao Martinho. Um, if, uh, I think Yao Martinho is quite expensive. I'm not 100% sure. But um, moving on to the second centre mid, we have Kevin Noland. Oh, Moland. No, there's no such player as that. Kevin Noland, who plays in the Barclays Premier League. He played as a centre mid in the game. And he got a hat-trick as a centre mid. So he's definitely going to get an informed card. Moving on to the final midfielder, we got a player in the Serie A. And he's called Fernandez. Um, this player here, Matthias Fernandez, plays for Florentina. He played a centre mid in the game. Um, that's why I kind of put him there because uh, I didn't have anyone to fill the right mid spot. Um, right mid spot, sorry. But uh, he got, I think it was two assists, uh, one goal, and um, just missed out on man of the match. Played a very, very good role in their four-one win, I think it was. Um, so um, he's got a good chance of getting informed. But there is a player in the same team who did get a hat trick, so that's why I'm saying it may, he may not, may do. Um, also, having the um, Bundesliga team of the season coming out to, um, the same time as this team. Frank Ribery could have been the left mid, but I'm thinking they're not going to put him in. He got two goals and two assists, so he has a possibility. But um, having them release the Bundesliga team this season, I don't think he will be in the team. Moving on to the strike force, shall I say, and the centre forward. And this is the player that could get the inform instead of Fernandez. Um, Lelic, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. Uh, another weird pronunciation. But um, he got a hat-trick, like I said. He could be the other player um, instead of uh Fernandez, I'm not 100% sure on that, but um, also I'm not 100% sure on where he actually played because uh, there's quite a few different websites and sources saying he played um, other positions, but I've decided to put him striker. And moving on to the two final players of the team, the strikers, the first player is going to be Lukaku, the West Brom Belgium striker, had a phenomenal game at the weekend, came on as a sub and scored a hat-trick against Man United to get them the 5 Five draw, very very good game. I think they're five two down. Most of the fans probably left until this tank came on the field and got them the hat trick to secure the draw. I'm not quite sure. I think they're um, kind of in the safe spot anyway, so it didn't really make that much difference. So I'm not hundred percent sure on that. But uh, he may go up to a gold inform because he's already got an inform card. He may do a similar to Benteke and them two up front. My God, that is a good partnership. And moving on to the final player. We have Yakonen, who's already got an informed card, and he was one of the players I was trying to look for to see. Um, I wasn't 100% sure, but uh, he got a two goals and man of the match as a striker this time, instead of his other informed card was a right mid. But uh, he may go for quite cheap, looks like a fairly decent uh, um, informed card as well. But guys, that is the team of the seasons. Like I said um, last episode, I think I'm going to basically do this thing now, where I'm going to create the squad and an uh, informed card, make it look a bit neater, as you can see there. Um, the, also, the um, uh, what's it called? Stats on these players are just off the top of my head. I kind of made them up. I kind of gave them like one or two more added, and um, I haven't actually put any stats. Or I haven't increased stats. I like in-game stats, so uh, they're not changed. But guys, um, it looks like a fairly decent uh, in for um, team of season. Lukaku, he'll go for quite a bit. Um, uh, Koscielny, he'll go for a bit as well. And you've got some decent players. It may be good for those who don't have the big amount of coins either, because you've got some fairly cheap players as well. So um, uh, people will be opening packs tomorrow, I can guarantee that, because the team this season is out, and well, um, people think it's out. So go and check my channel for the predictions for that. But uh, guys, this has been my predictions. Remember, if you've got any players, any players I may have missed, put that in the comments. Hit that like button and subscribe for more. This has been Chronic Rangers. Till next time, adios.